of you to stop what you're doing and listen. So what I'm trying to do today is be creative. Therefore, I'm trying to get my own photo shoot because as y'all can see, fall time is here, you dig? So that's on today's agenda. Let's just go with it. Through and through. You know what i'm pretty sure you already noticed but i love nature y'all it's something about fall like i'm out here with a hoodie on a little vest my book bag i feel like i'm ready to rock and roll going on adventure y'all but um tomorrow i plan on going to cuyahoga valley park so i just decided to come here to get a feel of a different park because y'all know i'm always at euclid creek and today i was like you know i'm gonna switch it up i'm gonna go to chagrin falls i think that's the place no that's not it so i met chagrin reservation park also known as squires castle park but I'm nowhere near Squire's Castle. I decided to actually come into the woods. You know what I mean? Like, look, it's all about nature, man. You know, this morning I honestly woke up, man. And I was like, man, I need to improve in something. It feels like I'm doing good with everything I'm doing, but I need to improve my creativity somewhere because it feels like it kind of been the same for like the last two, three months. Like I said, although I've been growing in certain areas, my creativity block felt like, you know, it was back at the bed. Like I was blocked my creativity. And y'all know the solution to any creation blocks y'all is doing just wake up go to the park go record go do something that you really like to do and then when you get home you figure out the rest you know what i mean such as me adding this vlog hopefully when i edit this vlog it's like a good edit because i'm looking forward to like a different type of edit vlog it's been a while since i actually edited my vlog last night i went through my old content and i could tell i put a little more work in with editing my old vlog so time to get better This is such a beautiful view. It's time to roll though. About to eat. I'm hungry, man. Y'all already know where I'm at. Actually, y'all don't know where I'm at, but y'all see it now. Papa Joe's. Actually, my very first vlog on this channel. I came here and got me a cheesy sub. We're gonna try it out right now, you dig? I ain't been here in a minute. All right, y'all, so we back in the truck. We about to try out this steak. One time it was cheesy. The second time it was wasn't. This is the third time. Let's see, y'all. I ain't been here in a minute. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I only pause this music. All right. Let's see, it's gonna be cheesy, y'all. I didn't get a, a 12 inch, I got a six inch because I'm cheap like that. Okay, let's go to test. Let's go to test. Oh, it didn't drip with cheese, so it's not cheesy. Let's see how it tastes first. I'm gonna show a little, hold on, can y'all see that? Yeah, let's see how it tastes. Mm, yeah. That motherfucker oily is good as fuck, though. What's good, y'all? We're coming back live from the crib. You already see your boy over here editing. I'll be done this by 8.30. It's going. But you already know I got to show you out the dinner, man. Look here. We got the greens over here. We got some cornbread. And we got macaroni and cheese. Oh, guess what, though? There's some fried shit. I put the chicken in here, y'all. I got three pieces of chicken, right? And I put the chicken in here because I don't like when that juice be touching my chicken. I like when it's touching everything, but when it touch, like who wants wet chicken? I know y'all gonna say, it all goes down the same place, but let's be real. Well, last time you liked wet chicken. Look at it, it look all crispy. Now imagine if it's in there, it'd be all wet, but this look good, it's that soul food, man. That mac and cheese are looking good too, y'all. Ooh, here, y'all want some? Ooh, I don't got no fork. Here, just jump in. Here we go. One, two, three.
boom, we back at the crib. What's good, my family? Just got done doing Uber, man. Did Uber for like two hours, man, and came across some good cash today. You know what I mean? Uber has really been blessing your boy lately. And I'm blessed to be doing Uber right now, man, because it's been getting your boy by. I've been meeting a lot of great people. You guys know the deal, man. Today was an overall smooth day. You know, we back down here in the basement. It's been a while. You know, I don't want to record too many vlogs down here because you guys would really got used to it. Because right now, I'm cheap. And I don't fight buying no green screen and no background right now. So, we're going to work with this and upstairs in my bedroom, you dig? But soon. I don't know when. One day, I will probably get like a... A different background like a white background or a green screen so i could change up every now and then but i'm cheap right now so when we get to that point we go invest you know what i mean i still got to get like two more microphones for lavish journey and i also got to get so look so down in my basement right there's like this wall it's this blank wall right next to where i record my podcast at and i think i said this in my vlog like a month or two ago but I said, every time an artist comes down, I want them to sign this big, like, poster board piece of paper. I want each artist or each person I interview, whoever comes down here to sign it. And then when it gets full, I'll frame it. And then I'll start another one. So by the time I'm done, you know, doing podcasts, my parents' crib, I'll probably have, like, six frames full of, you know, different signatures. It was just something just to keep and document, man. Because I appreciate everybody that comes to my podcast show and everybody that, you know, I come across on um, by the way the interview with Colin's conversation is now live part one of five he's breaking it down because that interview was dope y'all so it's five sets of the interview he dropped the first one today link down below you already know hopefully this vlog was well edited y'all because today I just was recording shit just trying different things so hopefully I'm able to put something together hopefully it's able to look different but I got a topic today your boy got a topic today man Let's see what the topic is. Hold on one second. All right. Um, is intelligence or wisdom more useful? Honestly, y'all, I feel like wisdom is more useful. In college, I met a lot of intelligent people that wasn't that bright. Just because you're intelligent, smart, or whatever, that does not mean you have common sense. For instance, I met a lot of people in college that was very book smart. You know what I mean? They um, was very organized and all this stuff, but they lacked street knowledge, man. And I feel like when it comes to the real world, of course, you could be smart in college and get straight A's and be on all these board meetings. But if you go out here in the real world with no common sense, you're going to lose, man. And I feel like wisdom kind of incorporates with common sense because in order to have wisdom, you have to go through life experiences and learn throughout the journey. You can't just be some, hey, I got straight A's. I know what I'm doing. No. And that's one thing about me. I'm so blessed with y'all. I have the wisdom and intelligence and i'm blessed for having both of those y'all because you know i went to college i already had the street smarts for real for real i just need the intelligence and i built that intelligence and you know now i'm building my wisdom again you know what i mean so i feel like wisdom would definitely get you further like you ever sat down and talked to somebody that was very wise you know that actually lived life and had life experiences like i met a lot of people who had no type of like what's the word i keep forgetting this word y'all hold on Maybe it's not myth me and remember. Intelligence. Like, yeah, I met like so many people who like honestly had tons of wisdom and barely any intelligence. You know what I mean? They didn't go to college or they eat, probably didn't finish high school, but they knew so much about life. There's so many different things about life and it amazes me. And I learned that throughout the summer too. Like I met a lot of people who never even been to college and they was very wise. <laughs> like, honestly, they were so wise. It amazed me like, whoa. Because there was times I used to judge people like, oh, they're not intelligent, so they don't know shit. But the older you get, the more you start to learn that there's a difference between being wise and being intelligent, you know what I mean? But it's good to have them both. Like, I really feel like I'm that middle man. Although, like I always say, I'm still learning. I'm young, I got more to do. But man, I really have wisdom though. That's what I'm saying. Wisdom gets you far. Intelligence, it gets you, it gets you somewhere. But without those life experiences, man, psh, ain't gonna know shit. <laughs> you feel me? But that's all I got for y'all today, my family. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Peace and love.